Hey guys, welcome to the first episode of the Tech News. This is a series that gives you all tech related and gaming related news along with my thoughts on them. And I'm really excited to share all of the gaming and tech news with you from this week. As this week is a really, really exciting week and a really, really exciting time to be alive. With that being said, I'm your host, Harry Srinivasan, and you're watching the Tech Show. Let's get started, shall we? So, the first news of the day is coming from OnePlus. OnePlus is going to launch their 32 and 43 inches TV and the 32 inch model is going to cost around $300, which is around 20,000 rupees. The, uh, the, uh, the launch date is going to be July 2nd, which uh, Pete Lau has tweeted on Twitter. Pete Lau, if you guys don't know, is the CEO of OnePlus. In this event, uh, most people are also willing to see the OnePlus Z smartphone along with their new true wireless earbuds, the OnePlus Buds. Next news is coming from Samsung. Samsung is going to unveil their Note 20 and uh, Fold 2 devices on August 5th and this leak is coming from the reputable leakers John Prosser and Ice Universe. Uh, the Note 20 is going to be uh, launching at August 20th according to the leak and the Fold 2 sometime later after that because uh, it, it's just basically happening as the same as how it was with the original Fold. The S20 was launched on February and the Galaxy Fold was about to launch on April and then it got delayed and so yeah the same is going to happen with the Fold 2 as well and I'm personally really really excited for the Fold 2 because it seems like a really, really worthy upgrade and it's also going to be $100 to $150 off, which is a really, really banger deal in my opinion. The third news is coming from NVIDIA. NVIDIA is going to be launching uh, their RTX 3080 sometime soon, but the, R the design of the RTX 3080 got leaked and this is how it looks. Let me know how, what do you think about this in the comments below. I personally think that this is a really cool and elegant slab of a graphics card. I mean, all of their RTX 3080, uh, uh, third, not 3080, 2080 and 1080 looked way better in the Founders Edition, and this is the Founders Edition. And uh, also, this is going to have a one fan in the bottom and two fan in the top, which is really weird for a graphics card. And I, I have never seen anything like this before. And the leaks are suggesting that the whole cooling unit can cost more than $150. Then <laughs> just imagine what the gra whole graphics card would cost. Apple is reported to reveal their new design for the iMac this year in WWDC. And along with that, they're go they were going to launch their ARM-based architecture MacBook Pros, but this is not going to happen this year. This is actually going to happen next year because they're giving developers time to develop their programs in this new architecture. And the, iP uh, the new iMac basically looks like an enlarged iPad Pro in my opinion. Android has launched their Android 11 beta for the Google Pixel 2, 2XL, 3, 3XL, 3A, 3A XL, and 4, and 4XL. They're basically uh, focusing on media, controls, and people in this new update. Last but not least, the Future of Gaming event was held by Sony yesterday, and they've unveiled the design of the PlayStation 5, which really looks aesthetic and futuristic in my opinion. And Xbox clearly got defeated on this one. Uh, although they don't have really good specs, they have a really fast SSD, they have a really uh, good ray tracing, and they also have exclusive games which automatically they can help uh, and defeat Xbox using. So the games that were unveiled during this event was Spider-Man Miles Morales, Horizon Zero Dawn 2, Forbidden West, and the new Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart game. This is it for the tech news for this week. Come back next week for more tech news. Before you go, like and share, subscribe and hit the bell icon. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Peace.